here we're being given a set of equations, some pretty complicated looking equations, and we're being asked to determine if each one is a function or if it's not a function. The way a function is defined is that you put in some value for x and you should only get one y value out. So whatever you put in for x, there should be a distinct y that comes out for it. Uh, that's a little abstract to think about it that way. To, to think about it visually I think is helpful. What that means is that if you were to draw a vertical line through a function, it should only cross it at one point. So for this x value that this vertical line uh, reflects, there's only one spot where the function has a y value. So you can see in this uh, graph right here, this is a parabola y equals x squared. It meets the vertical line test. You could draw a vertical line anywhere along this function, and it would only intersect it in one spot. So this is a function. This over here, on the other hand, this is x equals y squared. You can see right away that if you did the vertical line test, you're going to intersect that function in more than one spot. Uh, so this fails the vertical line test. It's not a function. It has two y values for this one x value. This one, this is uh, y equals negative x squared. That's fine. That passes the vertical line test. But of course, x equals negative y squared does not. So that's not a function. So with parabolas, it's pretty easy to see how this vertical line test works. And you can use that on any kind of function. Let's look at maybe y equals um, the absolute value of x. That, when you graph it, comes out to be this v shape. And you'll notice that should pass the vertical line test. There's no place I can draw a vertical line and, um, and make it intersect in more than one spot. But if you did x equals the absolute value of y, you'd have this sideways v, and that would not pass the vertical line test. So this is not a function. So you may be noticing a pattern here. Whenever there was a y squared or an absolute value of y, these things turned out not to be functions. So whenever you see that, you should be pretty suspicious. Let's um, start looking at these equations. Uh, you know, one other piece of advice I'd give you is that if you're ne if you're not sure on any equation, you should graph it with a graphing uh, program, uh, your favorite online uh, graphing calculator. Uh, and that's an easy way to check it with the vertical line test. Uh, first of all, just looking at these, I see a y squared here. So I'm suspicious about this one. I'm guessing this one's not a function. Here, well, this is actually a y squared too, because we've got the y minus 2 in parentheses, and the whole thing is squared. If I multiplied that out, I'd get a y squared. Here, we've got an absolute value of x. So maybe this is a function. That doesn't seem problematic. Here we've got an absolute value of y, so I'm suspicious of that one too. So these three, I'm thinking, are maybe not functions. But let's double check. I'm using desmos.com. This is a great graphing calculator. And I've typed all these in already, and we'll, we'll just take a look at them one at a time. Here's x equals y squared over 5, that first one. And what that is is another kind of sideways parabola. Um, so that's not going to pass the vertical line test. So clearly not a function. Here is this other one that I think has a y squared in it. Let's check that one out. That's just another kind of sideways parabola. So also not a function, not passing that vertical line test. Here we have y equals 2 times the absolute value of x minus 2. We just get a v shape. That looks fine. So that looks like a function. And 2x plus the absolute value of y, we get this sideways v-shape, not going to pass the vertical line test, not a function. So my suspicions were correct. We got not a function, not a function, function, and not a function. So hope that helps.